Jeff Forgeron is in for Katie this morning with your first alert weather forecast. Deb, uh, our own Iowa Lease was out at the waterfront yesterday uh -huh. for the Cinco de Mayo Festival. Yes. So I believe that's happening today and tomorrow as well. The weather should be pretty good for it. Um, I would bring a jacket if you're going to be out there mid-afternoon into the evening. That's when I think some showers are going to work their way back into the metro area. But man, it's turned out to be a beautiful morning around the region. This is a live look here from the Rivermark Community Credit Union camera on top of the Portland Opera Building. There's been a lot of activity out there along the Willamette River, some kayakers, some fishing, some a lot, just a lot going on, frankly. And I see a couple uh, passing over Tillicum Crossing at the moment. As you can see, the vast majority of us are clear of showers, especially around the metro area, extending down to Salem. But let's take you out to the northern Oregon and southern Washington coast. This is an area that's been dealing with showers on and off throughout the morning. Looks like one shower is working its way or clipping Cannon Beach and may clip uh, Seaside as well. And we have uh, additional showers developing along the Long Beach Peninsula. Wow. Uh, Folks in Corvallis and areas nearby are starting to see some showers as well, and those will continue to build up to the north. That's going to be the general trend. I think we're going to see showers popping up this afternoon and building to the north. But you know what? We're going to see a lot of dry time today along the I-5 corridor uh, from Portland down to Salem and probably up to the uh, Kelso, Castle Rock uh, area of interior southwest Washington. Central and eastern or Oregon is mainly dry as well. We have a few showers out near the Oregon-Idaho border and a few showers developing near the Blue Mountains. So we're going to have this weak weather system kind of moving its way in. That's going to kick off some of those showers and they're going to want to drift to the north this afternoon into the evening. But this is midday. We're still mainly dry out there. But mid-afternoon into the evening is when those showers will really start to build in. The exception being the Columbia River Basin and the coast. Those are the areas that should stay mainly dry today. Isolated thunderstorms will also be possible in parts of central Oregon. And it's going to turn out to be a showery overnight and start to our Sunday. But look what happens west of the Cascades. I-5 corridor to the coast, dry conditions. We should be dry most of the day. Might have some isolated showers along the coast range and the Cascades. And clouds will build in late on our Sunday. That's going to lead into a showery Monday as another weather system works its way in from the south, flinging showers up to the north. So Monday is probably going to be our coolest and wettest day before things start to dry out. So if you're going to be heading out to the northern Oregon coast today, there is a shower chance, but I think we'll be mainly dry today and mainly dry tomorrow. Monday, cooler and showery. Then we gradually start to warm up Tuesday, Wednesday, and we'll also be drying out. But the warm-up is going to be much more dramatic inland. Today, expect highs in the low to mid-60s with those afternoon and evening showers. Sunday, mainly dry. Monday, showery. Could have a few showers linger into Tuesday. And then Wednesday, Thursday are going to be great days. Mid to upper 70s, low to mid-80s, though, Friday. And I think we're going to be ending up in maybe near the 90s, if not into the 90s, Saturday and Sunday. So it's probably going to be a hot Mother's Day weekend. Deb?